What's up, guys? Got a package in the mail today. The new Fair RC FCX24 Lexan Bronco Conversion Kit. Turned out pretty good, I think. Uh, fairly easy to install. You're going to start with removing your stock body, whether that's K5 or Power Wagon. Uh, apparently this does not fit the Smasher setup, probably because of the size of the tires, if I had to guess. But it's as simple as taking your front block right here. Let me turn this light on for a little bit better detail. So you're going to take this front block right here. You're going to put your body post in it, set your height adjustment for where you want it. And on the underside, you're going to bolt your bumper to the underside of that block. And then take your hardware with a little collar and screw it on there and there and your front is set up you then move to the rear you have a different style block for the rear sets in the normal frame pockets for bodies would clip on usually screw and collar screw and collar you're also going to screw your rear bumper on there and there like normal Attach your body post, and before you do that, attach this spacer up here so they stay solid because usually you'll get a wiggle due to the height. This makes it very easy to attach the rear, rear part of the body. Uh, for the front bumper, these little tiny shackles do not come attached. They slide in, and I suggest putting a small dab of CA on the back side of them before you slide them in. This side has a rectangle shaped post that fits keyed into the bumper. This side kind of has a D shape half circle that is keyed into the bumper because the angle of the bumper, if you put them on the wrong side, they're going to stick out. Um, it also comes with small little lenses for your headlights to go into the fog light area on the bumper. Uh, they have small clips on the back. They need to be oriented up and down to push in. I found it was easiest to get them started and then go from the back side with a small tool and rotate until they popped into place. They are very secure once they are in. I don't see an issue with them coming out. I did run the stock lights out of the headlights of the K5 into the fog light area and worked perfectly fine and no more having to deal with wires when you take the body off. The body is nicely detailed, it does come with a spare on the back, typical five spoke, does look like an MTR tread almost, but it is a no name tire. You do have your taillight stickers, your roof rack comes pre-mounted, or roof bars I should say, your mirror and cowl with your windshield wipers come pre-mounted. And yes, it does come with a front end sticker for the grill and labeling. Obviously, they can't put it on the website because of licensing issues. The body is fairly thick. I mean, it, it is Lexan, don't get me wrong. It's going to have some wiggle and flex to it, but it is not a super thin body. I, I can see this taking quite a few tumbles and falls without having any serious issues. The conversion is extremely easy. I believe it's only available from Fair RC right now. They have this raspberry red color and they have a navy blue. Now the colors do have a bit of metallic to them, but they are on the darker side where if you look up on the ad for this, one picture has the light hitting it just right and it seems like a brighter red. It is kind of a dark brandy wine metallic and i believe the navy blue obviously navy blue being dark it is on the darker side um, aside from that i have not been able to get any running in with it yet that'll probably come later this evening but so far i dig it it looks really good it's trimmed really nicely yes you're back to body clips but if you're looking for something to switch it up from every other k5 or power wagon 
I would say this fits the bill pretty well. Um, it is a two-door body. Most of the RC bodies that I'm seeing these days in terms of Broncos are four-door. So I think it's pretty cool to have a kind of unique body because not many are in two-door form. In terms of the interior, it is a nice flat area. Whether you have a 3D printer or somebody comes up with an interior plate for it, I think it'll be fairly easy to install it. Maybe by hooking it up here or connecting with a tab here at some point and using these cowl and mirror screws to hold it in in the front. I think it would look real good with an interior in it. The windows are tinted, but they are not so dark that you can't see through it. So I think it would be a perfect candidate for an interior if you were still trying to keep a lightweight body. Um, aside from that, I'm digging it. Uh, I wish the color was a little bit brighter, but it does have quite a bit of metallic in it and has a decent sparkle outside in the sun. Um, in terms of weight, let's see if I can grab my little scale real quick and get some numbers on it. So it isn't going to be the most accurate because I have chopped my rear window, added some accessories, and took the topper off. But the way this sits, oh, there's also an interior, minus the bumpers at this point. This is coming in at 160 grams, minus the topper, add accessories, rear window cut, no bumpers. This, obviously bumpers stay on the truck, does have the spare, is coming in the way it sits at 63 and a half grams. So a significant weight difference if you're looking for performance. You're cutting off roughly 100 grams, give or take how your body is set up at this point. But for my application, I'm cutting off roughly 100 grams and being that... Most of that weight is usually sitting up at the top of the vehicle. I think in terms of performance, this is going to make a heck of a difference. Yes, I understand for the hard body guys and the super scale guys that it's a Lexan. You're running body clips again. It's going to scratch up the body or whatever. If that's the issue for you, this isn't for you. This is for the guys that are looking for something different to make it unique or their own, um, to step up in terms of performance and cutting some weight down and shifting that center of gravity uh, lower on the frame. Just by swapping this body, any aftermarket parts that you may have in weighted wheels, links, anything like that becomes that much more effective because you have effectively cut half of an SC stock SCX24 off the weight of the top of this thing. It, willing to bet, will make a noticeable difference. I do wish that there was some, there's a small indent for a door handle, I do wish they had at least put a sticker there or something to give it a little bit of breakup and detail down the side of the body. Or maybe a thin pinstripe or something to break up this area. Because without a door handle there, it does look kind of generic. Now, silver sharpie, boom, door handle if you're really concerned about it. But most people will also look at that and go, one less thing to get caught up on a rock or a tree or an obstacle. One less thing to rip off. Um, aside from that, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. Um, I think later this evening I will probably head out and get some run footage in it. Uh, it depends on if I post this before I head out or not. Uh, I may hold off and see if I can get some run footage in for the end of this video. Um, aside from that... If it's something that you're looking at it going, ooh, that's nice, pick it up. 
if body clips are a deal breaker for you or you're not a fan of Lexan and would rather have hard bodies and you don't care about the weight up high on the chassis or are more of a 50-50 looks and performance instead of all-out performance, maybe you want to pass on it. I will say that for the time being, Fair RC is running these at $40 for the complete conversion kit with your body mounts, uh, your front mount pieces, your bumpers, and everything else. Uh, like I said, they have it in a raspberry red, a navy blue, which these colors do lean a little bit more towards the darker side instead of the brighter side. And they do also have a clear version. I believe at the end of this month, I'm not 100% sure on the date, but these will be going from 40 for the conversion kits to 60 for the conversion kits. So I would suggest that if it's something that you're interested in or may want down the road, you might want to just bite the bullet and pick one up sooner than later before the price goes up $20 and you're basically paying time and a half for something you could have got for $20 cheaper. Um, aside from that, I'm pretty pleased with it. Like I said, we'll see if we can get you guys some run footage of it, either for the end of this video or I'll shoot another video out in the woods. Um, thanks for tuning in. Stay posted and we'll catch you on the next one.